howdy diddly dandy there chums tis i captain of the steves and today chums i'm going to be hitting up my playstation followed by hitting up my pc which is on a black joypad but um i'm going to be visiting the same places that i know that have got bases so this is my actual cloud save right here so let's hit this and let's load on in okay chums over in the distance there you can see one of my own bases that is on a planet called new bobby now i done a video just the other day calling this out to be one of the best droid farms that there is now i have got network settings enabled and crossplay enabled i've got it to invite only at the moment to join in my game but that doesn't stop other multiplayer people being here inside of this system and i think there is a person on the planet as we speak now there's probably a good chance i'm going to be able to at least see their base because they're online right now but that planet new bobby right now has got roughly 70 bases 70 70 bases upon it now i'm going to log into new bobby in a moment on my pc using the exact same cloud save that i've transported over from my pc so i'm going to have exactly the same ships the red dwarf the same multi-tool, the same star starship, the same everything. It's going to be identical. The thing that isn't going to be identical, I don't think, is the amount of bases that I see or don't see. So I'm on this planet right now. And it looks like there's something over here. Old Man Murray's Admiral of the Black Starship. What the fludge? Okay, well, I'm going to fly over there and just see what the fudge is going on. But how cool is that? There's somebody here called Old Man Murray. Now, I'd imagine that they're building a base right now. Or looking for a decent spot to, perhaps. Oh, there's two here. There's two people here. That is a really cool ship. What the flying fudge is that? Oh, OK. It's a Sentinel ship. And yeah, look, there's somebody building a base here right now. Yet I don't see base computers or anything like that. How bizarre is that? Oh, look, and there are other bases actually rendering in right now. Look, there's a base right there. So it looks like if I do encounter people while they're online, I do start to see their bases appearing, like this one right here. But that's all I'm seeing, OK? I'm not seeing many bases at all. All right, well, let's, um, let's just fly on up through the atmosphere quickly. Let's just have a look at this system. I don't think this system has a station. No, it doesn't. So it's not like I can go to a station to check to see what's actually inside of this system. What I might be able to do is hit up a teleporter on my freighter and see if we can see some of those bases. Now, obviously, I didn't see those base names that I just came up from. But hopefully we'll be able to see at least one of those bases. I mean, it's not letting me tag it or anything right now. But isn't that interesting? It's kind of cool that I can see ambient player bases. But like I'm saying, when I jump onto my PC in a moment, we're going to see just how many bases we see on the same sp save, same ship, same everything. I mean, look, it's just, just on an auto save down there. It's actually writing this to the clouds over at Hello Games right now. So when I load back on on my PC, I should see exactly the same things that I'm seeing on my PlayStation. So this is a really good way of testing. I'm just going to leg it up to my teleporter and we'll see if we can see under other bases some of the bases for those people that are on the planet right now. OK, so here we go. Other bases. So I can see my Nanite farm, Angel Platz and Paradiso de Metal. I think that's the guy that was just on the planet just building right now. Yeah, Stellar Paradise. Yep, I think that's that's pretty much them. And you can see there, it's trying to download the data. It's trying, and it's unable to download the data, even though I could just see those bases just momentarily ago. I bet that one fails as well. I'll check my Discoveries page in a moment on my PlayStation before I log out or do anything else. I mean, it's just created an autosave when I jumped out the ship. I'm not too bothered. Oh, look, there's one there that's actually put, Hello, hi, Steve. And that's Old Man Murray. We just saw that being built right now. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> well, you know, 
they were online, so I can see them right now. Well, look, that's that's not downloading either. So isn't that strange? Anyway, let's have a look at the discovery server. The discovery server is actually active. So I don't think that's the issue. Right, anyway, I have got a, a manual save point just down by my bridge. I'm just going to go hit that up to make sure that this has definitely written back to the cloud. There we go. OK, that's all saved. Right, well, I need to play about with some settings on OBS. And I'll be right back with you guys. And when I do reconvene, I'll be on my PC joypad, the black PlayStation pad, rather than my white one. OK, cool. And uh, I'll see you in a moment, people. Okay, doke. There we go, people. So I'm in. You can see there, and I think it's actually saying, yeah, 11.35. It's now 11.38, going by my rich watch. So it looks like it's all uploaded. It looks like it's good. It says that I'm on my freighter, which is exactly where I left off. And this is on my PC, remember? This is not on my PlayStation. I'll let you know when I've loaded in. We'd head on out, and I'll show you just how many bases are in this system. OK, well, it's loaded in. And um, what I could do is head on up to the teleporter and just show you how many bases show at the actual teleporter, couldn't I? We can do things in reverse, I guess. Let's head on over and let's see if we see those same bases that I saw earlier or whether we see a heck of a lot more bases. Not that I've flown out into this actual system, but, you know, I, I'm running out there right now in a roundabout way. Let's head on up here. What I'm not seeing is a lot of bases on the radial map at the top of the screen, but there you go. Let's head on over to here. And let's just have a look at other bases that's a couple more isn't it that's a couple more <laughs> and this is the same planet that i was just on momentarily ago there's my fishing farm there's loads of fishing bases here on this planet there's that one old man steve and look i can walk there straight away not a problem no problems downloading or anything like that i can walk there i mean they're there right now might freak them out a bit, me just appearing at their base. <laughs> but it's going to be on the planet in question. On planet Bobby. Or New Bobby, or whatever it is. Here we go, I've arrived at their base. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know where the door is. Oh, there we go. There you are, found it. Okay, well we're here at New Bobby. And I guess this is a sign that says, Hi, Steve. <laughs> Brilliant. So I can't see any of this on my PlayStation 5 unless the actual player is online at the time. But look how many bases are here. Like I said, there's about 70 bases here. It's freaking chock-a-block. Look at the water. It's freaking beautiful. But anyway, we're here to look at the bases more than anything. Well, I'm just a little radial. Well, there's loads of them. Well, if I just go into here and go into the Discoveries menu, when I look at Planet Bobby inside of here, you can see up the... Uh, where is it? it? It shows over here. 44 bases in total on Planet New Bobby. Now, I've been told that there's 70 within inside of this system. I don't know about that. I'm seeing, what, 44 bases, which is still a heck of a lot. I mean, what? I was seeing four. Four bases on my PlayStation. That was only because there was two other people online. It looks like one of them had maybe built two bases. That's a big difference to what I'm seeing on my PC. And considering that this is exactly the same stuff, there's my freighter Red Dwarf, there's my multi tool, that's my starship, that's my exosuit with the same cluttered inventory. Yet the main difference is what I'm seeing on PC when it comes to bases is far different in quota and quantity than what I'm seeing on my PlayStation 5. So PlayStation for me seems to be very scuppered at the moment. And I've been sending these videos over to people at Hello Games, Zendesk, and I know others I have as well. But if you're experiencing this problem on PlayStation 5 or any other platform that you're not seeing bases in places that are community hubs, or rendezvous areas inside of the expedition or whatever please report it to the Zendesk because at the moment I don't think Hello Games has got too much to go on apart from the videos that I'm supplying and I know that it's affecting other people because you've been sounding off in my comments to say that it's been affecting you since about mid-October time on your PlayStation 5 but let us know if it's happening on Xbox let us know if it's happening on Switch I don't know well then again uh, yeah Switch you can see bases yeah it's just multiplayer you don't have isn't it but yeah 
So anyway, if you do want to come to this system and use this system as a test, there you go, I give you the actual um, coordinates They're down in the bottom corner right there, people. I make those as large as I can for you on the screen. But this is just another little video that I'm just going to, you know, edit now and then fire over to Hello of the Games, I guess. And I'm hoping they get to the bottom of it because this is very odd. I thought it might have something to do with the PlayStation 5 Pro rollout and maybe it was affecting the PlayStation 5 bases only. That's what I was thinking. And I was thinking after PlayStation 5 Pro goes live, whether they would see all the bases. Just fine and dandy. But, um, you know, the, the update's gone out. And I came, I came to um, my Halloween planet with my crew from doing the weekend missions the other week. They couldn't see any bases either. It affected those also. So, you know. Anyway, sound off in the comments. Let us know if this is affecting you. If you come here and you see zero bases on your platform, let us know what platform you're on. And let us know that you see zero bases, or you only see your own base, or whoever you're with's base. You're not. Let us know if you're not seeing 44 bases, basically, inside of this system. Okay, it says 44 right there. Okay, if you're not seeing 44 bases right there, let us know how many bases you are seeing and the platform you're on. If it's greatly different, I mean, if you're seeing 45, then obviously someone's built one. If you're seeing 43, then obviously someone's deleted one. You know, but. Let us know if there's something completely different to that sort of reading and what platform you're on. Go Mentals. Lovely jubbly. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. Well, the main reason why I'm doing this is because I was hoping to find myself a really nice frost planet, like an ice planet, and do a Christmas event. There's also other events coming up around that time of year as well. Can't remember what it's called now. Some union day that gets done inside the community. Unification, Unification Day, that's it. And that's happening around December 26th, 27th, something like that. And they do it almost every year. So, you know, it'd be nice if Hello Games can get this sorted and leveled out before then, is what I'm thinking, people. Not just my events, I'm sure other people want to make sort of like, you know, Christmas events and stuff like that. We're going to be getting Quicksilver items that are Christmas aligned and, you know, snow cones and all sorts of other stuff. Not, not ice creams. I'm all about fur cones that come off trees. I know you call them snow cones in other countries. Anyway, till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.